Reload is what would happen if someone took the tutorial level from every other first person shooter ever made and put it into its own standalone game. This is a game where you shoot wooden cutouts of terrorists and fire a gold-plated Desert Eagle down a shooting range as targets pop up from behind a wall. It's played from a first person perspective and you could also describe it as a point and click because all you are going to be doing is clicking on whatever form a target takes in the game's couple dozen or so levels. Shoot. Something like this sounds inherently boring and you're probably wondering whether or not this is the case. Well, I'm so glad you asked. Let's just find out, shall we? Developed by Mastiff Games, Reload describes itself as a realistic weapons and tactics trainer, which is funny considering the so-called training levels where you're shooting terrorists wearing turbans and explosive vests give you 15 or so seconds to shoot them in the order you see fit. I don't think in real life terrorists just stand around waiting for their turn to be shot in the head. There is nothing realistic or tactical either about someone bursting into a room with half a dozen bad guys or driving through the middle of a factory with a mounted machine gun either. There are different weapons in each match, sure, but there is very little difference between them. There's no recoil, different reload times, or any of that kind of thing. Your accuracy is affected by whether or not you're standing, crouching, or prone, but you have no control over this stance, and the sway is artificial and doesn't feel authentic. I mean, the crosshair just kind of wiggles around at random, regardless of what weapon you're holding. You're able to steady your aim by holding the spacebar, but this is utterly useless on anything but the sniper training levels, and the weapon sway is the least problem those levels have got. I guess what I'm trying to say is that this is not a realistic or tactical shooter, this is an arcade game at best. It's about as realistic as a Rambo film is, let me put it that way. Anyway, having said that, this is not a bad game, but as I said, it's just a game with very little substance. I mean, shooting a target is shooting a target. It doesn't matter if it's a clay disc or one of the aforementioned terrorist cutouts. Each level has a few different rounds where you shoot a few targets for a bit, then the round ends and gets incrementally more difficult and you start shooting things all over again. After sometimes 10 or so of these rounds, the level ends, you get graded and you move on to the next level. Worth noting is that the hit detection is pretty much spot on. I was really worried about the skeet shooting levels in particular, but the aiming is generous without being too casual. As long as your crosshair is on top of something, you're going to hit what you're aiming at. Obviously there are instances when you could have sworn you should have hit something, but these are rare moments. Achieving the highest rank for each stage in the game this is a platinum medal is almost sadistically difficult to obtain, and it's clearly one of those games aimed at replaying and retrying levels over and over, becoming familiar with the layouts and patterns of each area until it becomes scrawled into the back of your brain, alongside actual important things like replacing the milk carton in the fridge or driving someone to the hospital. Probably the biggest cock up in the game are the sniper levels where you're sitting a few hundred yards away and have to shoot pixel sized targets within strict time limits. The controls just aren't very polished in these missions and they're by far the weakest element of the game. Visually Reload doesn't look amazing but it gets the job done. What weapons there are in this game look alright and the environments are pretty well detailed. Well, as detailed as they can get for interior shooting galleries and sand filled deserts. The soundtrack and voice acting entirely just relegated to someone who sounds like a sports announcer from ESPN is cheesy as all hell, and regardless of how well or crappy you perform in the level, he still says the same thing every time you finish. Great aiming, prepare yourself. I think all up, getting through the game single player mode will probably take a couple hours, but that's without getting the best rank in every single level or completing all of the unlockables. If you've got the patience to take this game to 100% completion, then there would be a few extra hours on top as well I'd imagine. Reload also has a local co-op for up to four players, in case you and three of your friends ever get so bored and shit-faced that you just want to sit around a computer for hours taking turns at seeing who can click a mouse the fastest. If there is one thing I have to side with for this game, it's that the price is right. This is a $5 game and it knows it, and it's refreshing to see an indie game on Steam not oversell itself. So anyway, wrapping all of this up, let me just say again that this is not a bad game, it's far from it. If you look at everything Reload set out to achieve, I would think it accomplishes this fairly well. It's a target shooting game, nothing more, nothing less, and it has enough polish and refinement overall that it more than gets the job done. If you're after something with a bit more customization options for weapons, ammo types, and all that kind of thing, then this obviously isn't the game for you. But as far as games go that let you shoot wooden cutouts of terrorists over and over, then it definitely hits the mark. See what I did there? Start. Thank <laughs> you.